Hi guys, welcome to Metabox Tutorials. Today, we'll show you how to create a simple listing with Metabox and WP Grid Builder. In this practice, I'm going to create a list of restaurants. Here is an example. As you can see, this page has two sections which are the content about the restaurants and filters. We'll need a post type for restaurants and information about each restaurant will be saved in a post. Name and image of the restaurant are the title and the featured image of the post. And other information such as status, address, voucher, and logo will be saved in different custom fields. Each box like this is for each restaurant. They are called cards in WP Grid Builder. And all of them will be put in a grid. For the filters, they are called facets. You can filter them by choosing options like this thanks to these facets. We will create them one by one in the upcoming execution. I already installed Metabox Core plugin to have a framework that allows you to create custom fields to input restaurant information. It's free and available on WordPress.org. You can download it directly. Next up is Metabox AIO, which is available when you have a license of Ultimate Plan or Lifetime Plan or Developer Bundle. With it, you have all the Metabox extensions for advanced features in one place as you see here. Just activate or inactivate them by the tick. If you don't have it, you can install them individually. In this practice, we need MB custom post type to create custom post types for the restaurant. And, Metabox Builder to have a UI in the back end to create custom fields easily. We also need WP Grid Builder. It is an extensive and easy to use solution to query, layout and filter content. Finally, make sure that you install the integration between WP Grid Builder and Metabox by installing and activating this add-on in the add-on section of WP Grid Builder. This aims to support all the fields created by Metabox and filter the content from custom fields easily. Normally, we create a new custom post type for the restaurants first and then create custom fields for that custom post type. But, I skipped those steps as I already had them on my website. You can refer to the series display the latest products for more detailed information on creating them. Let's create a card. First, name it. We'll use this name for the step on creating the grid. Then, set up the card. I keep the default settings for card layout and card sizing since there are no special things for the card. Pay attention to the card type options. It also appoints the same layout option for the grid. I turned off the media overlay and card footer, just keep the card media. You can custom all these settings as you want. To add content into the card, Move to the Blocks section then choose the Wanted Blocks. Choose the title block to get the restaurant's name. Just drag it to any place where you want to display the name. Next, to get the information of the restaurant's address, choose Custom Field. Drag it to the place. In the Edit Block pop-up, name the class, and search the custom field by label or ID then choose the one correspondingly. Do likewise with the Voucher and Status field, or for saving time, you can duplicate this and change the linked field in the edit block pop-up. About status field, I put it on the top left of the restaurant's image. The logo of the restaurant is a special one. There's no pre-built block which supports calling out the image from custom fields, so that you should create a new custom block. Go to the theme file editor in appearance, and add this code to the functions.php file. This code is officially provided by WP Grid Builder, and I put it in GitHub so you can refer to it. Just insert the ID of the custom field that you want to get the value here. Then, go back to edit the card, you will see a new block. It's custom image block that I've just created. Choose it to add it into the card so that's all for the card. Next, create a grid. To get the content that you want to display in the grid, go to the Content Query section and choose the post type that we've just created. To set the layout for the grid, go to this section. In the layout type, there are three options but you can choose only the one which is the same with the card type. It is masonry here since I set the card type as masonry. Scroll down to the grid responsivity and adjust the number of columns and spacing of the display on different device screens. Now. Go to the Card Styles section, set both the default card and post type card as the restaurant card which I've just created. Let's move to the next step.
There are pretty much pre-made facets that you can use instantly. I choose the selection facet for my filter and sort facet to arrange content in orders. So instead of creating a new facet, we just need to import data to these ones. First, let's change some settings of the selection. Go to the behavior section, you will see that this facet is set as a filter already. For its type, I set it as a dropdown so the options will be on a dropdown list. Next, this is the most important setting for the facet, there are three options here. If you want to filter by taxonomy, choose the first one. In this case, I want to filter restaurants by voucher information so that user can choose to see which one has a 30% or 50% discount for example. This kind of information is saved in the custom fields which we've just created by Metabox. So, choose custom field here. Then search and choose the field you want. For other settings, I keep them as default. For sort facet, I also keep it as the default settings. You can remove or add more options for sorting in this section. So we've done the facets. The last one, create a new page. Do you remember this? The page that I showed at the beginning is divided into two sections. One for the facets with two columns, and one for the restaurant's information. So now, instead of adding the facet block, I add columns first and choose 50-50. In each column, add a facet block inside then choose the corresponding one. This is the name of the filter that I've created. And this is the name of the grid that I set for my restaurants. Do likewise with the sort facet. To display restaurant information, I'll add a grid here. Just choose the created grid and we got it all. This is the page on the front end. Let's check whether the facets work or not. The filter and sort work well. However, there are some things like logos and statuses that look not good, so we need to style them a little bit. Because the page template and the facet section look good enough, I just want to style the content in the grid only. Instead of adding code to the theme file, go to the grid settings, then customization. There is a box to add CSS here. Also a box for JavaScript. This JS is to create a dynamic class for the status section. Do you remember that when adding the block for status into the card, I set its class as status. The dynamic class will be generated based on the value of the status field which returns in the card. If it's open, the class will be generated as open. Otherwise, the class will be close. Depending on the name of the generated class, I will have two different styles for the two statuses of the restaurant. Back to the page. All of the information is displayed more beautifully, especially restaurant status and logo. That's the end of today's practice. Remember to like, share, and subscribe us for more upcoming tutorials. Bye.